Beauty. The quality of being beautiful or very good to look combination at. of all the quality, especially the person look at that or someone that says something very attractive that gives great pleasure, one girl especially when you look at it. The quality of being pleasing, being especially to look at, very good, very to, look good at. to look at. What is beauty? Visual and aesthetic appearance, um, something that is appealing. Symmetrical. Beauty is like showed in the morals and the values of the person. Being able to attract someone else. The first thing people look at. Like the physical look doesn't necessarily describe beauty, it's more how the person acts in certain situations that makes them beautiful. What attracts you to another person? What you find attractive in someone else? Something that that doesn't make me flinch when I look at it. They see beauty is to be skinny, but not too much. They see beauty is to have curves, but not too much. They see beauty is pulpy lips, is long legs, is perfect tan, oh, but not too much. They see beauty is not about makeup, yet they tell you you look unwell when you show your bare face. They see beauty is from your soul, Yet, they still show you how amazingly looking that model is. 60% of college students admitted a celebrity had influenced their beliefs, attitudes, and personal values. Pop culture does more than glamorize damaging behaviors like drinking and smoking for kids and young adults. It can also distort their worldview. Adele. Adele. Here's Adele. Mia Love. Uh, Bonnie M. Shakira. Katy Perry. Katy Perry. Beyonce, uh, Nicki Minaj, and Rihanna. Tyra Moore. Occasional Taylor Swift. Uh, Taylor Swift. Ellie Goulding. Um, I feel like Beyonce sends a more like a message of like um, it's acceptance. I think it's more about love and passion and uh, beauty and all that sort of, like positive messages. People like Adele or like, groups like Paramore, they're like promoting in strength and like in terms of beauty. I don't really listen to the message that much. I just listen to the music. I don't really look at the message. It's more the melody, but it's definitely meant to be beautiful is something good. Like, that's what they should aspire to be. Well, Boney M was just about, well, that's because it's from the 80s, so it's about sex. Just, like, be yourself. Don't listen to what everybody else tells you. That's what they say, but what they think is, like, adapt to the normal population. Like, just as any other girl should, like, short shorts, they're saying, you know, be a normal girl, but on the other side, what they're showing is in their videos, like how they dress. Nicki Minaj is more about it's good to have like big forms and like uh, she emphasizes on that. Miley Cyrus and Lady Gaga, who is just, if you want attention, just undress yourself. There, there is both sides, but there is definitely more of desexualization of women because that's what sells. Very sexualized. I think they're being used as a way to attract male viewers a lot. Well, I mean, obviously it attracts attention. They like to portray women like half nude, like show a bit of, you know, of butt, let's say. So I don't think they're very well portrayed. I feel like it does give a bad image. Yeah, women are definitely sexualized in music videos. Uh, the appearance that they try and uphold as well as in public, they're always dressed nicely and they always look perfect and it goes through, they, they do go through a lot of time to do it. It's not for nothing, that's, that's the whole purpose behind it is to try and sell beauty. That's what everyone should want to be as. I don't think that they're portrayed as sex objects. I think they portray themselves as sex objects by the way they dress. In the music industry, a lot of the songs featuring women or sung by women, it's all about the body and not so much about them themselves. Girls are given the impression at a very young age that Barbie is how a woman is supposed to look. It is not normal that young girls are more afraid of becoming fat than they are of nuclear war, cancer, or losing their parents. It is not normal that 46% of girls aged 9 to 11 said they were sometimes or very often on a diet. Boys, on the other hand, are told that a good body is a muscled and fit body. I consider myself as an attractive person. I think I'm decently looking. No, I don't think myself I'm attractive at all. Looks wise, no. Personality wise, no. No, I don't think I'm attractive. Not necessarily attractive, just I guess normal. Nothing special. No. No. I don't necessarily fit in like the attractive norms. Of course. Because everyone's attractive. A bit, yeah.
Yeah. I see like all these guys always have like these girls and like, better looking and they have this certain personality. I don't fit that personality, so I don't think uh, I'm attractive. Lose weight and um, taller, less skinny, have like a nicer looking skin. Make myself more healthy because I'm really out of shape. Not to be as skinny as I am now, so like uh, maybe like a little more muscle, but like fatter, I guess, because I'm very thin. I do eat a lot, but like. I'm Obviously, it doesn't show. Muscle tone? Yeah, you need to be more muscular, personally. I think because, like, maybe people see some flaws, but differences are what make people special, right? Nothing. I would keep everything the way it is. I don't base attractiveness on looks, necessarily. It's more how the person is, if you can trust her. That's what I base beauty as. The one thing I would like to change is put, like, more clothes on a woman. Dress the models up a bit and the ads and everything, maybe teenagers will have more esteem and wouldn't try to look like, you know, what they're portraying, what the media's portraying. Um, I don't think so. I mean, let's say it's for commercials. It actually works very well in terms of uh, advertising. They will make a lot of money if they sexualize a woman to the male population. They will definitely succeed in selling the product. However, it is quite detrimental to the female gender of the female population of the world. Not only pick the pretty girls, because that's pretty much what media is doing. You're asking the guys, so I wouldn't change anything. There should be um, more different people, like bigger sizes, people of different origins, um, with different like body shapes and such. Everyone feels more included. Probably less sexualization. Women can still be attractive without like having like just like two lemons on their tits. Media is an illusion, a distortion of what beauty really is. Media artificializes beauty, erasing every bit of imperfection that lies within the image. Even the most well-known top models undergo Photoshop in order to erase the details they call flaws. But what exactly is a flaw? Is a big nose considered a flaw? Is a tiny nose considered a flaw? Does a golden number define how proportionate you are? Who is the scapegoat setting the bar of perfection? Media.